Bible prophecy check. It is history written in advance. Is Bible prophecy always, always accurate? Definitely. Well, there are a lot of people who feel that the 1990s could be the closing of this uh, age of grace. Why? What are the signs? Oh, there's so many. I just wish I had time for every last one of them. But first of all, horseless carriages, uh, the airplane, even the New Age movement has all kinds of books now on the Space Brothers, and they are talking about an evacuation for other purposes, something about the year 2000 as the time for when it will all occur. So there'll be many theories out there. Many theories, but the wrong theories, right. uh, that one. <laughs> Jack, a highway has just been built from the Far East to the Middle East. Now, is there any significance in this? The Oriental armies are going to march across that highway. You have always said, ever since I've known you, that Russia would march down from the north and that they would invade Israel. Jews! What part does the UFO play in Bible prophecy, Jack? God showed me something one day. I've never read this in the book. Elijah was swept away by a whirlwind in the heaven, the exact way a UFO travels. And this thing could drop thousands of feet in a second that would kill any human being, not angelic beings. And beryllium is what is used in our spacecraft today to withstand the heat and friction of outer space. So it could be that chariots manned by angels would come to get us at the rapture. This really happened, Jack? Will this really happen like that? Ridiculous. Then explain. I like to believe that in my heart. When Christ comes in the Revelation, and the millennium begins, he has a glorified body. We return with him. We have glorified bodies. Now, the people here on earth, are they going to have glorified bodies? Now, they'll get their glorified bodies mm -hmm. at the end of the millennium. So they can go into the thousand-year period with their new glorified bodies. But the ones who are alive when he comes go into the millennial reign with their old bodies and then get new bodies in Revelation 21 verses 1 and 2 because he creates all things new. Jack, when I'm with the Lord, he'll give me a brain to understand everything. <laughs> you say, I can't comprehend that. It's so marvelous. Will all unborn babies be taken with the mother and will these little children be taken? Uh, definitely. God is not an abortionist and that fetus within the mother will go. Great. Well, I recognize, well, we recognize our loved ones. I have some loved ones there. My dad is there. My grandmothers are there. This is so deep, my question. Why am I sitting at an anchor desk every week? Right? right? What groups of people uh, compose the One World Church then, Jack? Will it be possible to kind of beat the system, the 666 system, Jack? What is the New World Order? What will Christians do during that thousand years? What do you think is next on God's prophetic clock. The rapture. Mm, all right. <laughs> Are you absolutely certain that this rapture is going to happen? So the rapture could happen at any moment. Yes. Oh, my. How about a partial rapture? Possible? It's so awesome to me to think that we're going to be evacuated out of here in a moment in the twinkling of an eye, and we're going to be in heaven. In the twinkling of an eye. Okay, in the twinkling of an eye, how long is that? General Electric has measured the twinkling of 11 one-hundredths of a second. I like this, Rexella. And we zip through space in the twinkling of an eye, past the astronauts, and I could just see them. Houston, Houston. <laughs> UFOs know the coming of Jesus. What actually happens in heaven when we arrive there? Will my pets be taken in the rapture? You know, we have a cat, too. Rexella, I love our little cat, Finnegan, and feel exactly as you do about this little bundle of love. We, we really don't have to die. Now, some you can people... count it off, as I said before, 2,520 days. Mm, Jack, you said that This we... points to the revelation, though. He's coming to the earth. Right. Right now, we're talking about a terrible... Revelation 14, 11. <laughs> right. Well, then, Jack... Thank is... God for grace. Jack, will all... Revelation 20, verse 6. He actually makes this image of the beast to come to life, to speak. We better not laugh at that with the advancement in robots and talking robots and talk computers. Who is the false prophet, Jeff? Ezekiel saw the wheel way off in the middle of the air. <laughs> get my uh, video. Again, they should get my video. You need to get my study, Revelation Revealed, 10 solid hours. May God bless you as you live for him until he comes.
you cannot take a text out of context or you end up with a pretext. You get it? It's easy to judge others nowadays, isn't it?